Hi, it's Gary DeBach of Puyallup, Washington, USA, and this is a brief video demonstration of the new 3.5-inch baby FSL antenna. This is another of the airport-friendly models that was designed to routinely get through TSA security checkpoints at major airports. And in order to accomplish this, it has a, a low-profile, relatively small diameter, 3.5 inches using uh, 27 of the Russian surplus 160 millimeter by 8 millimeter ferrite rods. Uh, this airport friendly model was designed as a uh, replacement for this 5 inch bar FSL frequent flyer model. And although this model is extremely effective for DXing purposes and has been taken on Hawaii D expeditions both by myself and by Craig Barnes. Uh, the problem is that the 100 millimeter long ferrite bars in this model, as you can see, uh, around in a cylindrical pattern, uh, they're no longer available. In fact, they have not been available for four years. So as much as I would like to make more of these, uh, I don't have enough stock to really uh, provide these bars for a lot of new FSL antennas. So I've had to design a replacement that anyone can make using readily available parts. And as it turns out, this uh, new baby FSL model, even though it's a smaller diameter, it has longer ferrite rods. Uh, the ferrite is longer, so According to the FSL sensitivity design formula, both of these antennas are exactly equal in medium wave sensitivity. So you're not uh, sacrificing anything by building the rod model. Uh, 27 of these rods are currently available on eBay uh, for about $71 shipped to the USA. And very straightforward construction. This is an easy project. Uh, just a couple of uh, solder connections to the variable cap and the Litz wire is the most sensitive available 1162-46 with uh, 28 turns of this uh, so this antenna was designed actually both of these were designed to provide medium wave sensitivity roughly equivalent to that of a four uh, excuse me a four foot air core box loop Although uh, it's a much more compact size and much easier to carry around, like for airline travel. So I'm going to give a brief demonstration here. First of all, let me move away this 5-inch uh, bar model. And uh, First of all, the first step to using any FSL antenna is to pre-tune the variable cap for what frequency you want. So I have here... An Eaton Traveler 3 model, which I'm going to be using as a demonstration. I'm um, tuning to 650, and I'm going to be trying for a station, Daytime DX Fringe Station, CISL, in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is 10 kilowatts at about 160 miles. So, 650, I know from experience that I pre-tune the variable cap on the FSL with the plates about one-third open. So you can see here, I place the uh, the radio at 650K uh, KC and I am pre-tuning the variable cap here. I get a brief noise peak here when I'm about eight inches away. So I've got my FSL in the ballpark already. Let's see what the uh, stock radio can do without any FSL boost. I have a weak uh, signal just above the noise level, but nothing much to speak of. Let's see what the FSL can do to boost it up.
Okay, let me tune the FSL to get it right on. My next step is to adjust the radio in and out to get the best inductive coupling boost. Right about there is, uh, I think, the best boost I'm going to get from the FSL. I can always repeat the C and confirm that. And FSLs, they do have razor sharp tuning, so it's always great to uh, repeat and make sure you're right on if you have any doubt. One advantage of the ferrite rod models as opposed to the ferrite bar models is you can get an inductive coupling boost off the side of your FSL, which sometimes will be stronger than the one in front. And when you do this, make sure the loop stick and the radio lines up with one of the ferrite rods in the FSL. Of course, move it in and out to check if you're at the best peaking spot. So there I have my boost off to the side. Let's see what I can get in front. So I have my maximum boost there uh, from my oldies station, uh, CISL in Vancouver, BC. And I hear the song from Bread at about uh, S7 level. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this brief demonstration. Let me turn this off. Uh, as I said before, all of these parts are readily available. You can uh, build this project. Uh, with parts off of eBay, and um, currently uh, every single one of these parts is readily available, so there's no supply bottleneck as you have with some other models. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.